Hey guys, today I want to show you how to packet sniff your iPhone or other wireless devices. And the easiest way I found how to do that is to basically get yourself a micro tick router like the one I have here. Now I'm connected to that um, to the micro tick via an Ethernet cable, and this phone is connected to it via wireless. To set it up, you use a powerful microtech feature called packet sniffing. But first, you need to go to the DHCP leases and grab your iPhone's uh, MAC address. That's my, that's my MAC address. And then you go into the packet sniffing uh, menu. You put that MAC address in there. Oops. Uh, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and um, and then you put in your IP of your um, of your machine running Wireshark. See, that's my IP eight eight two five three eight eight two five three. I already have it started here, so it's running. And basically now the Microtik is streaming um, the packets that it sees back to my computer with Wireshark. Um, and to filter just those packets that it's forwarding me, you put in TC, TCZSP up there. I hope you can see that clearly. And you filter. So now all these packets that are whizzing by are basically packets coming from my, my phone. Uh, let me de demonstrate to you by going to an unprotected HTTP site. Um, that's the bad thing about wiresharking uh, HTTPS. You can't really tell what the hell's going on. So with good old HTTP, you can see what's going on. I'm just going to browse um, an old blog post. So now you can see in, in Wireshark that, and especially if I go sort of uh, follow TCP stream, you can see that as I did on this phone, I, I, I uh, clicked the link and then the browser Safari did a get request for that particular URL and you can see the user agent is the is my iPhone so I hope that gets you um, interested in and and equips you to sort of start packet sniffing your wireless devices and uh, I really hope to see more of this happening because there's so many so many things going on in the background here it's kind of ridiculous and we need to, I mean, it's the only way you can really, well, you can't really trust uh, closed source software, but uh, it's the only way you can maybe keep track of what it's doing, kind of. So uh, enjoy, and if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up.